Hello, good afternoon, welcome to this video. I am so stoked for what I'm gonna be doing today. A little bit of backstory. It is the Monday after Thanksgiving and over the Black Friday weekend, there were multiple things that I needed that were bigger ticket items that got purchased because they had really good sales, but Greg just didn't have anything that he really needed to buy. And he's been kind of bummed about that you know, with the holiday season and purchasing and everything. It's fun, it's exciting. But he's been like looking for something to buy even though he doesn't have anything that he really needs. And further back backstory, our first Christmas together, I surprised him by getting and setting up while he was at work a Christmas tree. He came in at the end of the day and thought that he had walked into the wrong apartment <laughs> because there was suddenly a fully set up Christmas tree there. It went really well. He's obsessed with Christmas. So I think it's one of the best gifts I've given him. But because he's feeling a little bit down about not having anything kind of exciting this year, I just decided that I'm gonna run out and buy a Christmas tree and bring it home and set it up before he gets home from work. Now, the difficult thing about that is it is currently almost 3 p.m. and the latest he's gonna get home is six. So I have between two and three hours to do this. Thankfully, I already have a base for the tree. The lights are out and ready to be set up. So I think that I can do it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna buy the tree yet. There's a Home Depot near me. There's a Whole Foods. I'm just gonna look it up. I'm not trying to do the like tree garden how oh, what is the word like christmas tree farm energy i want to support local but it just costs extra for the experience and since i'm doing it by myself as a surprise for someone else rather than doing it with that person i i just don't think that's financially worth it for me right now yeah i thought that it would just be a fun start to the holiday christmas season i'll post this video early december and it's just a cute little festive surprise gift video. <laughs> I'm gonna get going and hopefully I can get a really good treat. Since you're here for this Christmas content, I just gotta ask, and please let me know in the comments if there's any interest. I'm considering doing Vlogmas. I, I definitely have the time and the energy to do it. My biggest concern is that I just don't have enough going on for it to be interesting. But then again, I watch vlogs that are just running errands and stuff like that, and I really enjoy them, so. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try to do a vlogmas. Maybe that'll encourage me to keep my life more interesting, which will be beneficial for me anyway. It's scary to commit to, but let me know. Let me know in the comments if you have any interest in seeing my version of vlogmas and what types of stuff you'd like to see, because it actually sounds really fun to do it. So I, I'm not ready to commit just yet, but if you guys put enough peer pressure in the comments, I think I'll do it. I just realized I really don't know what I'm looking for. So hopefully I pick a good one, but there's a lot of options. There's lots of trees and it is cheaper than Whole Foods here at Home Depot. So I'm gonna pick one and then I'm going for it. Greg likes this. <laughs> Thank you. 
trim the base of the Christmas tree at home. I think I did something wrong because it's very crooked. I don't know, I think probably just how it's screwed in the bottom, but let me see if I can do something about this. So I need to get these lights on as soon as possible because another reason that getting a tree is going to be so beneficial is we just moved into this apartment and we didn't realize it's one of those that a lot of the rooms don't have overhead lights. So we got lamps, but light bulbs weren't in stock. So we've ordered a bunch of light bulbs and they're not coming in until early next week. So over a full week. I'm hoping that Christmas lights on a tree are gonna serve as the light for this room. So we'll see how that works. the matching lights up. I have two more boxes of lights, but they're slightly different toned. And I feel like at this point, I would rather have not enough lights than different strings of lights with different tones and chord colors and all of that. So it's definitely not gonna have the grand effect that I was hoping, but I think that we have some ornaments in our storage. So I'm gonna run and check that. What time is it? It's five o'clock, so I don't want to risk. Ugh, I'm just gonna text him. I'm gonna text him and see when he's gonna be coming home. I don't know. Either way, this has been a lot of fun to do, and I haven't really been feeling the holiday spirit. On top of that, if you saw the last part of my moving series, you'll know I'm not super happy with the apartment that we're in. As I'm setting up more of the stuff, it's not as bad, but it just doesn't really fit my aesthetic. And I think that having a Christmas tree, something fun and festive is really gonna help me feel happier in this space. Multiple purposes. And actually, you know what? Maybe I can turn the fact that we don't have ornaments into a fun thing and we can go get some together and then do that part together. Because the gift is really the surprise with the tree and me having brought it upstairs and done all of that by myself. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. It is almost 5.30 and he still hasn't messaged me back, so I assume he's working. But just in case, I'm gonna sit here with my camera ready to film him. But everything's all set up. I lit a little candle that is actually fur scented, even though this isn't technically a fur tree, but it does smell really good. And it's all, it's all ready. <laughs> he loves it. While filming this, I've decided that I do want to try to do Vlogmas this year. And I think this is gonna be the December 1st video because that's actually this week. I realized by the time I posted this, no input could be giveable. So it's officially on This Is Vlogmas video one. And I would love you forever if you would comment what you wanna see from me this month. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey, 
Before I close out this video, I want to give a little update on the Vlogmas situation. I slept on it and I do want to do a version of Vlogmas. If you've watched my past videos, you may know that I have anxiety um, pretty bad, which makes me very susceptible to burnout. I was thinking about it. I know that if I set an unrealistic goal, not only will I not reach that goal, I'm also more likely to be critical of myself. And that's just not the energy that I'm trying to have during the holiday season. In order to challenge myself without setting an unrealistic goal, I am going to do my version of Vlogmas. I am going to post two to three videos every week. I'm committing to two, but I think that I can do three. So I know it's not technically Vlogmas, but I still think it'll be a fun way to end out the year. And I hope that you will join me for this non-traditional holiday series, not Vlogmas, but kinda. <laughs> so I won't see you tomorrow, but I will see you in about two days. I think the next video is gonna post. So I'm still excited. <laughs> Until then.